What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day and overall staying safe from this illness and living your best lives until this thing blows over. Although this is a nutrition and fitness channel, I made a poll recently asking if you guys would be interested if I made an investment video, typically about the stock market and a few stocks that I personally enjoy and I have in my own portfolio. And the response was actually a lot better than I thought. So here's the video. A little background about me is for the past six years, I've been investing in the stock market. And in Ontario, the legal age to start investing in the TSX is when you turn 18. So immediately when I turned 18, I went to my local bank and I opened my first TFSA account. And my first uh, initial investment was $1,000 because that's all I had back then. Now, six years later, that $1,000 have now turned a little over $100,000. Now, obviously not all of it was growth. Half of it, which is about 49,000 of it, was of my own money reinvested back in over the past these uh, over the past six years and that was because to maximize the compound interest now the remaining amount was compounded 14 percent on a yearly basis for the past six years which is actually really good if the stock market crashes again like it did in march i will not have a hundred thousand uh, dollars uh net worth you could say uh, it would be less, but if it continues to go to all-time highs, I'll be making more than 100000 and beyond. But we are not here for the short term, we are here for the long term. And when I talk long term, I'm talking about 10, 15, 20 years in the future. I will discuss how I turned $1,000 into $100,000 in another video because there's so much things to cover. So instead, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys two stocks two Canadian stocks that you guys should be buying right now for the next 10 plus years. And these two stocks are in particular because quite frankly, I don't see any investing YouTubers um, out there talking about these stocks and they're such gems and they're just, they're such good stocks. A lot of YouTubers are not talking about this on YouTube. I don't know, I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna be the ones that are breaking the ice. This is my first video on investments. I usually talk about calories, nutrition, and fitness because that's what I'm good at, that's what I'm passionate about, and that's what I'll continue to do on this channel. But if you guys are interested in more of these investment videos, smash that like button. So letting me know that you guys like these videos and I can show more gem stocks, more quality stocks. And for the existing subscribers that are subscribed to me, don't worry guys, there's a plenty of calorie meal plans coming your way, so don't worry. Alrighty, let's get down to it. Just a note so I don't get in trouble, I am not a financial advisor, as you guys may know already, and any decision that you guys make in the stock market, you guys should be doing your research first. Again, I'm just a guy on YouTube that talks about fitness and nutrition. All right, putting on my investment glasses and let's start. So the first stock or company that we're going to be talking about has to do with death. I know, it's not pleasant, but if you guys know where the demographics moving, in today's world, it's a great opportunity to cash in now. Quite frankly, I don't see many YouTubers talking about this, and I think the reason why is because of it's a it's a death care service. The ticker symbol here is PLC.to or Park Lawn Corporation, and this company heavily focuses on funerals and cemeteries and burying the guys that needs to be buried. So why is this company or stock such a gem to you know invest right now? Well, just like what they say on their own website, nothing is certain except for death and taxes. And that's so true. But if we look at some facts here and look at the chart, the chart in Canada shows the population of Canada from 65 above is projected to grow at a big rate at the end of 2030, as well as the United States is in the same boat. And that's because of the baby boomers that are slowly aging, as well as they get older, obviously deaths are going to be inevitable. And so that's what this graph is showing you and shows you how much people are going to die eventually. And I know that sounds terrible, but that's the reality. And so this company in the next 10 to 15, 20 years is going to do fantastic. If not, it's doing fantastic already. If we dig deeper in this company and see exactly where they're present in North America, we can see that they are heavily inquiring a lot of businesses. They are, accus they are using a lot of accusations to grow their business. And that sounds like a monopoly to me. Doesn't it? All right, let's go ahead and look at their year-over-year -year revenue and net earnings. As we can see from 2016 to 2019, they have grown at a very, very strong rate. Now, you may be saying that earnings are not growing as fast, and that's because all the acquisition they make. So we can see that this is growing at a very, very fast rate, and personally, I don't see this dropping anytime soon. Now, again, earnings are low because they keep buying up businesses and funeral homes and 
uh, and cemeteries so they can further grow the business and revenue. Now let's quickly go ahead and look at their balance sheets. Now we're going to look at the recent balance sheet Q1 2020. The current assets that they had here was about 95 million and the current liabilities was about 43 million which overall the ratio is 2.19 so that's very healthy anything above one is considered good but anything above two is considered very very good pretty much what they can do they can pay off the current liabilities two folds if they want to right now so that's really good to see so if we also look at the total assets and total liabilities they're both over one which is very very good but we can also see that the assets are growing year over year quarter by quarter which is amazingly well another thing that i look at on balance sheets is that the total equity if the total equity continues to grow quarter by quarter and year over year that is a very good sign for a company because that means the value of the company is going up, their assets are going up, and overall appreciating company. Now, another thing that I like to look at very briefly in a company to see if they're in a good place is the free cash flow. Now, the free cash flow of this company is pretty much after dividend paid, after capital expenditure, and pretty much everything. It's just the money that they have left after all, all expenses, including dividends and such. Now, what I like to see here is free of cash flow growing, and Park Lawn is doing that as well. Now, there's more things that I look at deeply when I look into stocks and when I want to buy them. But this is what I look for first. Now let's go ahead and look at the stock price and see where it's at. Over the past five years, it's been growing very steadily until that crash happened in March. And from then till now, it's 20% down from its all-time high. The PE ratio is saying it's 160, which is crazy high. It's insanely high. Now when you guys look at PE ratio, the numbers in my opinion is that anything below 15 is cheap. 15 to 25 is fair. Anything above 25 or even 30 it's pretty expensive. But here, Parkland is saying it's 160, which is insane, but the forward PE is only 21.84, and that's a fair value. This stock also gives you just below 2% dividends, so therefore, when you guys wait until the stock goes up, you'll get some monthly dividends as well. Overall, guys, Parkland is a growth stock. Now, usually growth stocks don't give you dividends, but when they give you dividends like this, why not? It's like a little cherry on the top, you can say, when they give you these type of dividends. But usually, growth stocks do not give you any dividends. And when we look at the comparison with Parkland and the TSX, it's been outperforming the TSX at a very, very strong rate. So overall, we know that this company is going to have a fantastic future. And based off the fundamentals that we see here, and as well as the long-term vision and um, the uh, goal and the vision here, I think this company has a very, very bright future. There's one thing I want to point out, guys, that when you guys make investments in these type of stocks, you must believe in the business. If you guys don't believe in the business, you have no idea what you're investing in. So Park One is one of my stocks, one of my favorite stocks to hold on to for the next 10 to 20 years because of the fundamentals that it has. So yeah, guys, always believe in the stocks that you guys purchase. You'll be more confident that way and you'll enjoy them more. All right, moving on to the second stock or the second company. And this second company or stock is in the renewable energy business. And again, this is a company that I don't see many YouTubers talking about or, you know, investing channels talking about. And it kind of like boggles my mind because this is such a gem stock and a quality stock that I think everybody should be having in their portfolio. The ticker of this company is NPI.TO or Northland Power. This company is a pure renewable energy company in North America, South America, Europe, and Asia. As we know, the world is changing and governments will slowly be going towards renewable energy. And that's because of climate change and global warming that they're trying to beat and renewable energy is one way to go towards that. For example, Canada has already made a goal to be emission free by 2050. Another example, Dubai they are trying to upscale their renewable energy in their desert. And China has spent billions and billions of dollars in renewable energy. So it's safe to say that this industry is going to be a very, very hot topic and industry in the next foreseeable future. 20, 30 years. I think it's a lot sooner than that. If that's not convincing, let me guys show you a chart. This chart shows you from 2020 all the way to 2050 exactly how fast and renewable energy is going to be growing. And renewable energy is going to be almost 40% of electricity generation in the world. I mean, that's just insane. But renewables are going to be used the most in the future. And that's why I am extremely bullish in the renewable energy uh, uh, sector. All right, let's take a look at their revenues and net earning. If we look at 2016 to 2019, They've been growing at a very good rate. Their net earnings are growing at a very strong rate as well. Now, if we look at the quarter results, Q1 2020 just exploded, which is just amazing to see. Earnings have gone up exponentially and the revenues are just, you know, they're crushing it. 
And so this is one of my favorite stocks in my portfolio and it's doing one of the best in my own portfolio, uh, performing one of the best. So let's see how healthy they are and see how they're doing in their financial statements. Looking at their current assets is about 1.4, almost 1.5 billion and their current liabilities is about 1.3 billion as well it's a ratio of just over one and quite frankly that is good to see because usually most utility companies they don't even really go over one they're below that that's because they focus a lot on their revenues and their uh, sales because it doesn't matter if you're in a recession doesn't matter if you're in a depression doesn't matter if there's a bull market people still need electricity and so having a safe haven or a uh, defensive stock like northland um, it's a good place to be when you when there's a recession and a depression. It's really good to see that the ratio is above one and their total assets and total liabilities are, is also over one which is really really good and as well as their assets is growing quarter by quarter and year over year which is something that I personally like to see a lot. Total equity is growing year over year as well which is something that we want to see as well when we want when, when we want to invest into a stock. Their free of cash flow is growing at a very very good rate every year and that's extremely well and nice to see. Now let's look at the chart. Now if we look at the past five years, this stock has been growing at a very steady rate and a very good rate. Now the price of this stock, unlike many others, has hit an all time high, which is crazy. It just shows you how much demand there is for this. This puts their PE ratio of 18.5. Now 18.5 is a fair price and I believe so this price is fair for a uh, stock like this where it has a lot of potential to grow and a long-term vision and they're just in a very good position to grow. This company also gives dividends just a little over 3% so you guys can wait on the sidelines and get paid dividends while the stock just continues to appreciate. And again, as I mentioned in Park Lawn Corporation is that you must believe in the stock and believe in the company when you when you guys do these investments. If you guys don't believe in it, you're not going to you're not going to understand what's going on. But if you guys are in the game and you guys believe it, Trust me, things are going to be a lot more clear, you're going to be a lot more confident and you're going to be a lot less worried when you guys make these investments. And hey, we know that renewable energy is going to be the long term thing, it's going to be the next big thing in the foreseeable future. So why not make the investment now so we can make that good return later. And there you have it guys, that's my two gem stocks that I personally heavily invest in on a monthly basis and um, I have no regrets. These two stocks are my top five players on my portfolio. And so I don't regret it and every month I try to put some money into these stocks as well because it's just the future that I see in this, the long term vision I see this and the financial statements that these guys have are very very strong and I heavily 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 believe that this, these industries are going to be the next big industries or the next big businesses in the next foreseeable 5, 10, 20 years down the line. If you guys want to see more gem stocks like this, smash that like button. That lets me know that you guys enjoy these videos. I know we didn't go too deep in the financials, otherwise this video will be a lot longer than I wanted to. And it's my first investment video, so if you guys enjoy it, I will do more of these. Just smash that like button letting me know that you guys do. Comment below if you guys learned anything or maybe if I missed a point or you guys see something that I don't see with these stocks, I'll be more than happy to uh, 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 see those comments and overall learn something from you guys because other than my day job and me doing my nutrition and calorie videos The stock market is my other thing that I do actively on a daily basis when the stock market's open So don't be shy comment down below and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace